I think a lot of these self-improvement YouTube channels and self-improvement videos and self-improvement posts from these Andrew Tate YouTube videos and YouTube, ch YouTube channels and posts, especially that you see on your main page, like, I am here. Nah, it didn't show me. But you see them a lot, right? They, these <coughs> YouTube videos of Andrew Tate and Hamza and all these other videos, they're slowly becoming some room porn. You're not really doing anything with it. And that's my biggest problem with a lot of self and stuff. Once you know the basics, you know meditation, you know gratitude journaling, you know exercise, you know business, entrepreneurship, you know to be focused and deep working, working extremely hard on what you want to do in your life, that type of shit. Once you know that shit already, which is also very, very surface level, like you don't really need to watch any of this other stuff, unless you're going to watch it. For the sake of, well, maybe I want to support Agnute, I want to support Hamza, I want to support this, and then I'm doing it so I can learn a specific thing, so I can better myself in this specific endeavor. Like, for example, you want to learn sales, right? And your sales, your sales prospects, your prospecting so far hasn't really been good. So you turn to Andrew Tate and Hamza to have on how to learn sales and you learn sales effectively through them and then after you watch the video, you, you use what you've learned in the video and you actually execute on it and you get a better sales pitch and you get more sales. Something like that. Something like that's productive with YouTube and with self-improvement and, and special improvement videos. But for the most part, this shit isn't some uh, this isn't a uh, thing. This shit isn't how do I say this? Productive. A lot of people watch some improvement videos and genuinely believe that they're productive. I, it's unbelievable, right? I can't believe that people will sit down and watch a video doing minus... It's, it's, it's no different from minus entertainment at that point. Doing minus entertainment. Watching some improvement videos as if it's going to change your life. Just keep watching, 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 watching. At some point, you're going to need to take action. And you're going to need to start that YouTube channel. You're going to need to pick those clips. You're going to need to talk on the camera. You're going to need to... Self pitch people more. Read those books. They're just watching the book summary. Ah, watch the book summary. It's okay. Watching the book summary and actually reading the books is completely two different things. And if you haven't read the book and you, and you just purely watch the book summary, you're not even taking a quarter of the information from the book. Seriously. And un the unscripted video, the, un the book unscripted, and Hamza's video of his book summary of it, it wasn't even close. There was a myriad of topics that Hamza didn't pick up on in, in, in that video and was much better translated on a uh, thing. Well, how do I say this? Well, conversed. Yeah, well, more... What the fuck? What was the word? Well, orated. Orated? In, in the book, comparatively to Hamza's YouTube video, you won't get... The value in the book is much higher than in the YouTube video. Because the book can literally have more information than the YouTube video. If the YouTube video had all the information, word by word, step by step, it would be like a 12 hour video. It would be impossible to watch the entirety. The summary is only the summary. You, only, you don't get all the pieces of information from the book. And I see a lot of people call. And it's in the summary of space, like, one of my favorite ones is, I don't meditate, I read. That's fucking cope. <laughs> sure, you're increasing your focus when you're reading, and you feel somewhat levels of presence when you're reading. However, you are still focused on something, and you're not practicing peace of mind, state of mind, pure supreme presence, pure supreme focus, which is what you practice when you're meditating. When you're reading, there's the systems of this shit, man. There's a reason why you have meditating and gratitude journaling as well. <laughs>